So we had a uh, great day so far. We've had a couple of uh, panelists talk about property rights. And um, I wanted to talk about an issue real briefly that is coming right through South Carolina and Georgia with the point of getting to Florida, to the coastline, and it's going to affect lots of people's property rights. In fact, I live in a rural county. I live in uh, Edgefield County and it's gonna affect 105 property owners in a rural county, and that's the Palmetto Pipeline. How many of you have heard of the Palmetto Pipeline? Okay. So a few of you. And um, I'm just gonna be real brief because uh, we still have, have a lot to go for the rest of the day, but the Palmetto Pipeline is basically running from the upstate down through North Augusta, then across the Savannah River with the point of getting down here To the coast of Florida and there is not a need for an additional pipeline in South Carolina. In fact, a large portion of this additional pipeline runs parallel to the Colonial Pipeline, which provides the majority of the uh, fuel that we need for the Southeast region. The concern over this isn't the fact that it's a pipeline. In fact, a pipeline is the safest way to transport uh, fuel or oil or things of that nature. It's the fact that eminent domain is going to be used. This private company plans to use eminent domain for, for their profits. And it's not for public good, and it's not going to benefit South Carolinians. So I would encourage you just, if you're concerned about this, to go to the website, uh, push back the pipeline. That's actually in Georgia where they have pushed, pushed back against it. Um, and I wanted to let you know about a bill which was sponsored by um, Senators Young and Senators Massey. Pushbackthepipeline.com. And uh, the bill is S868. The reason they introduced this bill was basically South Carolina didn't have a good policy on eminent domain as it relates to private companies. And so they stepped in to prevent them having the use of eminent domain. And it has passed now the Senate, and it's going to be in the Judiciary Subcommittee uh, of the House, scheduled to be up for a vote in April. So I'd encourage you to get involved in it now, and you can sign up at pushbackthepipeline.com and they are going to be keeping South Carolinians uh, up to date as well. So thanks.